So this is another game uh, for the Tigers where the Tigers haven't played against this team, but I believe my Blades of Steel team did play against this team first, and they handled them pretty easily. But that Blades of Steel team is really good. So Tigers are kind of going into it, not really knowing what's going to go on, and we'll see how it turns out. So if you're buying hockey equipment and you want to support the channel, check out the links in the description. In the US, check out the links to Pure Hockey. In Canada, check out the links to Hockey Supremacy. If you click those links and make a purchase, I get a kickback from the sale. So anything that comes back from that comes right back into the channel so I can make more content and doing like real reviews and stuff. I got buy gear to do a lot of the tests for it. So that costs money and it would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel without buying anything, check out the links in the description to Patreon, buy me a coffee. Everything through there comes again back into the channel so I can make more content and doing real reviews. <laughs>
So unfortunately, my camera, and I have about like a bunch of GoPro batteries. I actually have four of them and like four of these batteries and they're charging and I put little numbers on them and everything. And this was one of the games which helped me to find out that number one battery, which I marked as number one, just stops working randomly. And it, it's usually around the 20 minute mark. It just stops completely. And that happened in this one. It happened a little longer than I think 20 minutes in this one, but it just stopped completely and just stopped working. It wasn't overheating or anything. I gotta give GoPro credit for this because I reach out to their customer support for like warranty stuff and batteries I'm kind of iffy about for warranties because I can see why companies just don't deal with it. And they did, they basically just said like proof of purchase, let's see, I explained the issue and then they sent me a new one and the new one is good. So that's a nice thing. So unfortunately this game couldn't see the end of it. Uh, the Tigers win, I think it's like a 5-2 finish or something like that, or maybe 5-3, but basically one guy on the Tigers decided to take it in his old hands, and I think he scored three goals, or he scored two and assisted one, and or, or did more, and he basically just like, I'm gonna, I want to put this game, like I want to win this game, so he took it himself and just finished it. This guy scores a lot, and he pulls our team for goal scoring, like into wins, and into ties and stuff, so he did that in this case as well. Overall, it was all right. Uh, the one goal was a, one of those issues where it hits the tip of my glove and I just don't get enough of it. I'm sliding away from the shot and it hits the tip and just goes in, like trickles in. If I was a terrible writer for a daily face-off, I would blame this on going through the webbing of my glove, just like they did on Jack Campbell's, but really it wasn't the glove's fault. It was the user's fault. Just like Campbell, I missed this. I just missed it. Like I should have been sliding really the other way. I should have probably stayed on my feet a bit more and I just whiff on it. And I make like three more glove saves after that where I actually catch it and it was a pretty good save. So it happens. Overall, it was pretty okay this game. I was using the Kinect skates with these pads. You can see some weird movements at the beginning and it was my first time wearing the Kinect skates with this specific pad. Because of the last game that you saw where the skates came undone twice and it came undone the time before that as well. I wanted to see if the skates had issues with other pads. So I started wearing these skates with all my other pads to see. And that's why I ended up wearing them here. I didn't have any issues whatsoever on them. It did take an adjustment period in terms of like how it feels in terms of sliding and stuff like that. And just motions because I'm used to how the pads sit differently on my true skates compared to the connects. But overall, it, like I got used to it towards the end and it, it wasn't a big deal, but it does definitely take a little change on it. No issues whatsoever on these ones with the calf wing and everything is pretty soft on these compared, especially compared to the Warriors. You're watching hockeyreviews.ca.